How does this make you feel about your country, about the system of government? What, what, uh, if I believe what you believe, if I checked and I'm anxious to read the book, checked all, I'd go out of my mind. Well, I, I think that I mean, is the lesson. Probably, it would drive I, me nuts. I think that's the lesson here. In other words, no one is going to try Lyndon Johnson posthumously for murder. Uh, but I do think that if younger people read this book and they get the idea that the government doesn't always tell you the truth and that you should regard what the government tells you, whether it's about Benghazi or health care or anything else with a certain level of skepticism, then I think I've achieved something. In other words, in 1963, as you know, Larry, with only three television networks, you have, a, you have an information monopoly after the Vietnam War, after the Watergate. Uh, I think for the first time, the American people begin to doubt whether the government always tells us the truth. That's why 70-some percent of the people tell us they don't believe the Warren Commission, even today. Gallup. UPI poll and others. Isn't that because it's so hard to believe that one single loner with a rifle goes up and kills the president? Yeah, it, it lacks credibility completely. And then someone kills him. Right, I mean, because the whole, they wanted it's a bad fiction. Right, because they wanted a dead red, not a talking head. I mean, uh, it, the fact that he is immediately murdered before he could go to trial and the American people could find out what really happened here makes this all the more disturbing. But in 1963. The American people just accept the government's version, and I think good men like Earl Warren go along with a cover-up because they think they're covering up an international conspiracy. Robert Kennedy sends an emissary to the Russians. He gives them a three-part message. One, we know this was a domestic conspiracy that killed my brother. Two, there's a reason why it happened in Dallas. That's Lyndon Johnson. And three, the elevation of Johnson is a grievous problem for the peace process. So, uh, you know, I, I don't even think, I think the Kennedys knew it was Johnson. Evelyn Lincoln, uh, uh, John Kennedy's secretary, okay. tells us it's Johnson. Uh, e. Howard Hunt says it on his deathbed that it's Johnson. Jack Ruby, when he's being dragged down the hall, they say, Jack, how could this happen? This never would have happened if Adlai Stevenson had been vice president, he says. Jack, what do you mean? Look at the man at the top, the man who's in there now. He's referring to Lyndon Johnson. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.